What's going on? Uh, I got a special video. Um, this video is on uh, how to acclimate freshwater fish uh, from the pet store, bring them home, and get them ready for brackish. Uh, so the first step is you could set up a freshwater tank and gradually, uh, with water changes, slowly add uh, saline, marine salt, um, into the water. You know, using regular salt, um, sea salt that you get from the store is not going to work. You need to be using marine salt, the same kind that you use to make a saltwater aquarium. Okay, brackish conditions are going to be uh, anywhere between you know 1.05 specific gravity, all the way up to you know 0.15, 1.15. Um, so this tank is already uh, partially brackish, just 1.05. Um, slowly conditioning the plants. The salinity in here will change. It will be going up to 1.0, uh, 1.10. So 1, 110. You know, 1.10. And uh, the first step that you're going to need is you're going to need a product called a um, hydrometer or a refractometer. This is a refractometer. Um, you can get them on Amazon for around 20 bucks. And um, you know, basically what you do is you take a pipette and you put it in your tank and you, you fill it up with water and then um, you, know, you lift the lid on this device. And let me see if I can get it here. Right there you pour the water and close the lid back. You put it up into light, you know, just put it up in like pointing towards your aquarium light to where you can see uh, the readout um, and it'll tell you the measurements. So <clears throat> coming from the fish store, you know, these fish are in completely pure fresh water and you cannot just, you know, come home and put them in your tank. It's going to, it's going to shock their system and put them into shock. Even right now, it's just still kind of um, you know kind of risky that's why I only bought four I mean you know not all fish are going to adjust well and you know you could put them into shock even if you are taking your time and it can end up killing them so I'm willing to bet that maybe one of these fish may not make it uh, I hope they do and we're also taking a risk to put them in here with uh, Butters right here and Butters the, the magical puffer you know he, he may end up biting some fins because he's been there for a few days uh, but I got nowhere to take him, and I, I tried to catch his ass earlier, but he's being a straight up butthead. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't get him up out of there, man. I, I tried to catch him, but there was no luck. He's too damn quick. Um, there's too much stuff in there for him to hide under. So anyways, back to the drip acclimation. So what I did was I poured half the water out of the bag. You want to have a good amount of water that they came in, uh, at least, you know, 50%. Now, they only put a little bit of water in the bag when you're at the fish store you know uh, you don't want to uh, pour any of that water out just stick it in the in, in the bowl and then uh, measure your pH because I'm in tech West Texas and the the water here is liquid rock so it's you know the pH here is about 8.0 out of the tap um, so the fish stores water in the local areas they're all around 8 7.8 7 7.7 point, 7 7 all the way up to 8 so the pH is not going to be a factor. It's not going to hurt the fish. But uh, on the East Coast, uh, you know, some more acidic waters. You want to definitely make sure the pH gets balanced. But uh, you just take some, you know, airline tubing, and uh, you run it in your tank, and you just drip acclimate, and you drip acclimate until the salinity matches the tank. And uh, as of right now, after drip acclimating and filling the bowl up and pouring it out halfway and doing it again, the water is now. Um, fully ready for the fish. Uh, you know the 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 salinity matches in the tank, and it's been over a good. Uh, it's been over over probably about an hour and a half process to do this. You know you don't want to. You're not going to be able to get this done in 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 freaking 20 minutes, 30 minutes like you normally do with fish. Um, so you know as you can see, it's just it's just dripping. It's not. And I just sped it up. You know, you want to go, you see how the drips are pouring out at this point? I sped it up after about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, you know, but uh, you want to start out with uh, two drops per second. You know, this is probably about five drops per second. Um, and 
you know that that's about it uh and then watch the fish don't let them jump out of the bowl um you know the, the, these fish like to jump so going into the species of fish that can be brackish you got mollies guppies um you know and then of course the more expensive fish the puffers and the and the and the uh, tri, uh the um sorry the archer fish and then they have mono angels and scat fish and then they have large predator fish that are in brackish but typically at the pet store the ones that you can convert to brackish would be mollies which would be balloon mollies sword tail mollies um regular mollies black mollies any kind of molly if it says molly on it they can go brackish and then you can convince and eventually convert them to salt so i'm going to eventually convert these to salt because these fish are not for me. They're not going to be staying in this tank for long. Um, I'm going to be raising them in these conditions and in, in, in a semi-marine condition, getting them ready and conditioned to be going to a uh, saltwater tank. Because yes, mollies um, can live in uh, saltwater tanks. So the most popular ones that people keep in are sailfin mollies. Uh, but the, the fish store didn't have any sailfin, so I got the sword tails. Um, but any molly species will do. All right, so. We're going to go ahead and get these guys into the tank and I'm going to go ahead and drop them on in there. Let's see how they, how they do. Okay. Let's take out the equipment. They're all about to go hide. They're probably freaked out right now. But, um, yeah, so, you know, drip. Drip acclimating your, your fish, you know, is definitely going to reduce some of the stress. Um, and Mike, I hope that, uh, I hope these guys make it, but don't worry if they don't. Um, we'll see how they do. Let's watch some of the behavior real quick. Let's see how the puffer handles these new tank mates. Hopefully he doesn't start fin nipping. Uh oh. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right, I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to see if I can catch the puffer again. All right, guys. Well, you guys wish me luck. Uh, I'm not having very much luck catching him. He's he's just too goddamn fast. But um, I'm going to get this son of a bitch. So, Mike, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to do my best to keep these fish uh, safe. Uh, I don't want any harm to come from them, especially with the you know with what we're going to be doing with them and just to give you guys a little bit of news about them we're going to we're probably going to be uh you know doing a series of videos and this is probably going to be part one of um converting them to salt water so we'll show you how that process is done as well and uh you know you can check out mike's tank it's a uh, 915 mang on youtube just look him up man he's got some really cool videos and um you know a lot of great information a lot of good product reviews and i love his editing uh, we have, you know, two different styles. I'm more like a homemade YouTuber, uh, but Mike's a bit more high tech, but I really like his stuff. But anyways, you guys take it easy. Have a great weekend. I'm going to have my hands full trying to get this demon child out of the tank. All right, guys. Good night.